My name is Chris Kivis and I am the Flaming Greek and here's a quick tip for today. Hi, I'm Mark Salas and I'm with Master Purveyors and I'm going to show the audience how to break down a whole filet mignon because it can be a little intimidating if you don't know how to do it. And I recommend buying whole filet mignon instead of filet steaks when you go to a supermarket because it'll end up saving you money in the long run. Because the supermarket's going to take a steak filet, cut up into steaks, and all the byproduct they're going to keep and they're going to charge you for the whole filet anyway. So I recommend buying a whole filet and then breaking it down yourself. And this is how we do it. First, take it out of the bag. And then, it's very simple. You lay it on its back. Exposing the top, you just take the knife and you basically just put a little slice right in this corner. This big piece separated from the long piece. And you take your, take your hands and you clean the top with your fingers. Now I washed already and sanitized, so you, people at home need to do the same thing. So now, see how I just separated two main different muscles? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to do with the filet mignon. You want to separate this piece here, which is called the chain, and this is the main body of the muscle. So we're going to take this chain off, and then we can clean it after, and you can use it for barbecue tips. Right. You can slice up the pieces, put it on the barbecue, marinate it, and it's filet mignon. You're just going to clean it up and take some of the silver off, the, the, the tough pieces off, right. and then the rest of it's really very good to eat. All right, so let's see you go to work. So we're going to, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. We'll leave this for later. This is what we call the chain. It's got great meat in it. You don't just throw have to that clean out, it. guys. Right, don't throw it out. We're going to use that later. Now, basically take the filling mignon, and we're going to clean it up and take all the silver and all the fat that you see on the filet mignon off, right? So you want to take all the fat off as much as you can, any way you see it. Now this over here is called silver skin. Correct. You want to take the silver skin off because it's very, very tough to chew through. So we take the knife, take, use a thinner knife, and you come across and you basically glide the knife across the silver, right? And then you come across this way, so this way, there's very, very little meat on the silver and more meat on the filet mignon. We're going to do that. Well, that's why you're a master butcher. Well, master purveyor. And that comes off nice and easy. No, oh, it glides right off. But you want to make sure you take all the silver off because if you're going to chew through it, you get stuck in your teeth, and it's not a very good experience. See? This is what your, the audience will do at home, right? Now, there's a little bit, you turn it over, and there's fat on the inside of the filling mignon. You take the fat off, right? Okay, take that fat off, nice. See how much marbling is in this? Yes, there is. Right, the more marbling in the filling mignon, the more flavor you're gonna have. So we just wanna, Take some of the extra fat off. Okay. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to separate this piece okay, from the main muscle, from, the, from that section. We're going to finish taking the silver off. Now, you have the whole filet mignon. If you were in a supermarket, all they would be giving you is the middle piece. And they'd be charging you for the entire rest of the filet mignon and only giving you the center steaks. So you can buy the whole filet mignon, probably for less money buying it whole, and then you have all the other end pieces to use on the grill, for stew. Anything you want. To anything you want. Sauces, makes great bolognese. So what we do is we basically take the filet, that's, that's, this is what we call filet tips. Right. You can make cubes with it, make shish kebab, you can cook this put this on salads, you know, so that's another use for that. Then we're going to take steaks, right, and you make your own steaks. And about two and a half inches, okay, we'll give you around a six to seven ounce steak, right? So you know what I'm doing after this segment. So now, we have nice, five nice steaks, right? And you can see the marble in them. Beautiful. See? Yep. You can even get a nice steak 
out of this section, because if you, as you saw me do this before, we cleaned up and took all the silver off of it. Okay? Basically take the tip off here. Take the tip off here. And now, I have this big piece. Just clean this off. This piece here. And you can make two smaller steaks for the kids. For those big tornadoes. Right? Beautiful. So now we've got seven steaks. Beautiful steaks, right? Now we have the tail. The tail is a beautiful piece of meat. We clean it up a little bit more, right? Clean it up. We take the extra fat, take the extra silver off. Now remember, if you were in the store and you just bought the steaks, you'd probably be paying for the whole filet mignon and just getting four or five steaks. More cost effective to do it your way. Right, so now you have the filet tail. You can slice this the long way and make and put it on the grill and make nice, um, like, uh, not jerky, but similar to it. But you can cut more tornadoes, or you can take it and you can, t you can tuck the fillet steak under. And now we basically, all we have to do is take the string and we're gonna tie the tail comes on there. Okay. And you have another steak. Yeah, well, I like to do, you can have either a steak like this, right? You can cook it on the grill, like that, or you could... Cut the end off? Cut the end off and it's tied together, so this way. You get a nice steak back. So now we've got, we've got six steaks and two tornadoes, all from the one fillet. Wonderful. I'm Cammie, and this is a Greek. And I'm Mark with masterpurveyors.com. So that's the quick tip for the day on the flaming grief.